Good morning. I thought it would be fun to do a little day in the life today as I work my nine to five, which if you're new here, I'm Jenna and I have a background in mechatronic systems engineering and I work in design engineering during the day. So if you have any questions about design engineering, definitely feel free to leave them down in the chat, but I'll just talk about design engineering throughout the day and I'm so excited to take you along on my day with me. So we started off the morning, every single morning I meditate and that is definitely not fake. I am very passionate about meditating. I definitely want to do a video on the benefits of meditating because personally I have definitely noticed the benefits. Like I just feel so much less anxiety throughout the day and I just feel calmer and I just feel like I can deal with work stress so much better. Every single morning I put creatine in my water. So this is also a habit. I make sure to drink a full thing of water in the morning with creatine. But now the rest of the morning routine, we are going to do a quick workout and get outside and get some fresh air because I just feel like not getting a walk in the morning just doesn't, just starting the workday just feels so different. It just feels like uh, I have to start working and I'm like stuck inside, especially in the winter. I live in Toronto, Canada, so if I don't get outside and it's cold and it's gray out, then I'm just like, is this just sad? This is just sad. <laughs> but the sky this morning is looking kind of pretty, so I'll show you guys. But yeah, we're gonna do a quick workout and head out on our walk before we start work. I have a special guest joining me on our walk this morning. Everyone say hi to Brennan. Hello. <laughs> He's also going to be working from home today. Oh, look at that view in the background, wow. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going on our little walk. It's actually not that cold at all uh, compared to what we've been used to. It's only like two where, or no, zero, negative two? Zero. It's only zero, whereas previously it's always been like negative 20. So this is definitely way better than what we're used to. But it's also really cool, like all the water is like fragments of ice and stuff. So it looks like kind of like frozen lily pads is what I've been saying to myself. But anyway, <sighs> one thing that we are missing on our walk is uh, my family dog. We were watching my family dog for like almost a month and it was so fun because obviously we live in a condo so you have to take her outside on a walk so she can use the washroom and obviously get some exercise in but it was just so fun because you would meet so many other dogs and then you'd make so many new friends and we met this one old man that had this new golden retriever puppy and her name was Lilibeth and he would always walk the same way that we walk and so one time I was walking her and then I, there was like these couple other old men and then we all got like a photo shoot with all our dogs and it was just so wholesome. Main point of that story is I miss walking with Indy and saying hi to other dogs and honestly I just miss Indy. Indy's my family dog and she's a golden doodle so yeah I just miss having a dog to walk. But it's okay, I have Brennan so this is great too. <laughs> So currently I'm working in the nuclear industry, which is super cool. And I've been learning a lot because as you can assume, the nuclear industry has a very rigorous uh, design process because safety is so, so important as I'm sure you would hope in the nuclear industry. And so there's a lot of new standards and procedures that I'm not used to following previously in my other design engineering position. So I've been learning a ton and just getting used to working in this industry. So previously I was working in the entertainment industry. Now that I don't work there anymore, I'll tell you where I was working. So I was working at IMAX, which is a large movie entertainment 
technology company. So we were designing like projectors, film cameras, all of that. So I was on the design team there. And then before that I was working in the petrochemical industry. So that was a lot more similar to what I'm doing now. So just for some more background, for those of you that are new here, I'm 26 years old. So I definitely haven't been in the industry for a crazy long time. So I think it's just a great example that like if you want to diversify and like try out different in industries, you definitely can. And I definitely advocate to try new things. And personally, I've found that if you are looking to get a big bump in your pay, then you unfortunately typically need to kind of like switch positions um, unless now in this position I'm in a union which I can talk about more if you have more questions about but it's really uncommon for engineers to be in a union so I'm just getting used to that too of being in a union and like having guaranteed raises and a pension and like all that stuff so I did not have that at my previous positions and all of my salary raises I did have to negotiate but anyway we can save that for another chat and I basically start my day by just checking all my emails as boring as that sounds that is what I do and I also just make sure if there's any messages from the night before I get back to those individuals but I thought today would be a really good day to record a day in the life because I actually don't have any meetings today which is really nice so typically the type of meetings that I would have depends on where we are in the project so currently I am in the detailed design phase I'm just wrapping it up so I actually have a big deadline today um, prior to me going on vacation for the next two weeks so I need to finish my design package and then what's going to happen is someone else is going to be verifying it. So I am responsible for the electrical instrumentation and control for this entire project. My non-engineering friends will ask me like, okay, what exactly do you do? Like electrical instrumentation and control mean like nothing to me, but I just kind of sum that all up in the scope of my part of the project is basically anything that requires any sort of power is in my scope so in the past how it's worked in other companies is that i've always been on the electrical team which also does the instrumentation and control but they just don't have that title we just do everything in that area but now that i'm in the nuclear field it's a little bit different and there's a team that just does electrical and then there's a team that just does instrumentation and control. So now when I finish my design package, which encompasses both of those sectors, then there's going to be a verifier, they call them. Essentially a verifier is just someone that reviews my design work and they are someone who's never been involved in the design project. So they have to act as if they're doing the project themselves and make sure that nothing is wrong with it. And then they will also sign off on my design package and say, yes, I agree that all of this is great and it is verified. Okay, my battery actually just died. So we took a little pause, made us ourselves a little tea. And yeah, essentially the point of what I was trying to say is once you finish a design package, then someone has to verify it. And for my particular package, since I did both the electrical and the INC for the project, then I have multiple verifiers and so I have to finish my design package today to be able to pass it off to the verifiers so that they can review it while I'm away on vacation because I'll be gone in Costa Rica for two weeks so stay tuned for some Costa Rica videos coming soon maybe and then once I get back then the next stage is what we call the comments and dispositions phase which is when I essentially receive all their comments and I can decide whether or not I want to implement them or if I have a reason for not that I have to justify it. And that's what the comments and dispositions phase is. And then we work together and then eventually we come to an agreement on the final product. And then that is what is then stamped with our PN stamp. So a PN stamp is a professional engineering stamp for Canada. And I haven't had to stamp anything myself because I don't have my professional designation yet. I am eligible, but I just have to write the massive application for it and they just changed it a year ago. So yeah, I haven't done that yet, but I am planning on doing that uh, on the plane ride to Costa Rica 
it's just such a tedious long application but it's definitely worth it for career progression and also if I want to get a big salary bump like I need to get my PNG essentially because I need to be the one that's actually stamping uh, opposed to getting someone else like my verifiers will be the individuals who will be stamping uh, but typically if I did have my PNG then I would be the one stamping these design packages since it's my design package but typically for meetings we would just have like project update meetings in the morning to update our project manager how we're doing on our design packages like the status of them if we have any issues anything like that and this week i also had a lot of review meetings with some technical experts who these individuals aren't even the technical like reviewer verifiers on the project they are just essentially like mentoring me into becoming a more of an expert so they were able to give some extra tips and guidance and that was really helpful this week. So the outcome of that meeting is a few different updates that I need to complete before we have the package sent out to my other reviewers and verifiers today. And so we just gotta get going on that. Okay, rant over, it's focus time. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. If you're looking for a new breakfast idea, if you're just kind of like someone that grabs a granola bar and runs out the door, that used to be me, or you just have a protein shake, that also used to be me, I highly suggest making chia pudding. And you can literally make a bunch for the week and then you just have chia pudding every morning. And I add like some fruit and chocolate chips and it's so, so good. And the big thing that I love about it, it's so simple. So I'll put the ingredients on the side here so you can take a little screenshot to make it yourself, but I highly recommend, like this is something that I look forward to every single day is having my chia pudding. Highly recommend if you're looking for a healthy breakfast idea, you should try out chia pudding, super easy. satisfying when you cut an avocado and it's just like perfectly ripe <laughs> so usually this isn't like a ritual of ours or anything but Brennan and I have been kind of making brunch every Friday I'd say so here we are again so now we're just gonna take a little lunch break before we get back to work sometimes on my lunch break I'll also go for a walk but I don't know if I have time today unfortunately just because I really need to get this design package finished before the end of the day. So I might be skipping my walk sadly and just having lunch then going back to work. What a day. I haven't had any time since after lunch to record anything else. As you can see, it's already dark out. Ah! I mean, it does get dark at like 4 p.m., but still it feels so much later than it actually is, especially since it's so dark. And I literally feel like my screen is just the only thing like illuminating me right now. Okay, so I am officially out of office and that is a wrap on the work day. So I'm just waiting for Brennan to come home and then we'll have dinner together. I'll probably just clean up the place a bit and we'll definitely go for another walk this evening before we head to bed later, obviously later. It feels so late though now that it's dark. If you've enjoyed this day in the life of a design engineer and you have any more questions relating to like career, like negotiating your salary or questions about engineering, why I like engineering or why you should go into it or any questions about school, 
literally any engineering questions you have please put them in the comments below and i will make sure to answer those in any future videos and i'm looking forward to more day in the lives of a design engineer and also stay tuned for some costa rica vlogs too i'm probably gonna do a morning routine so make sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it and i'll note to make more and of course if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video and i hope you guys have a great week and i'll talk to you soon bye for now